Okay, here's my uh, Black & Decker electric lawnmower and all of a sudden it just stopped working and other than that, it was served real well several years already, I have it probably close to 7 years, something like that it's worked fine, nothing happened to it, nothing until now and uh, I'm gonna show you how I fixed it uh, I just did some research and uh, they said it's two things and fairly cheap things are the ones to you should check and uh, once you change them or check them they, it should be back up and running so to take it apart first I check this one this is uh, the switch that you can take off the handle from here just take a few screws down off and you take it off real easy so what you can do is take this switch out and take it apart and uh, on this side just bend these little thingies on this side and when you take it off make sure you don't lose the little there's gonna be little pieces but uh, mine was uh, nice and clean wasn't uh, corroded or anything so it turned out this wasn't the problem so uh, if you don't want to take it apart uh, probably don't and just uh, check the next step that I'm gonna show you and see if that's the one that to blame so take uh, off this cover there's just two screws that are holding it and this is the inside what you will see and the uh, next thing that uh, usually people seem to be blaming for the problem is this guy. This is a bridge rectifier. It turns uh, uh, alternating current from the wall into DC current for our motor. This one. Uh, it's mounted over here. I took it off already so I can measure what it's doing easier. And uh, this is the one that... Uh, you can try to replace usually the motor is uh, pretty decent and uh, very reliable so most likely that's not the thing that uh, went wrong with your uh, machine so try this one I put some links below the video uh, you can check and uh, on Amazon and on some places you can find uh, new ones if you want to buy, buy uh, <coughs> Black & Decker brand then it's gonna be well right now it I checked it was 30 bucks but uh, there's some other pretty much a lot of uh, electrical companies are selling this so you can find cheaper ones this one I got I think for 8 uh, 50 or nine dollars something like that so to check if the bridge rectifier is wrong or broken what you can do is these pins pull them up a little bit just like this so you can get to the metal pieces and uh, just like that just a little bit and yeah, all four of them and now we're gonna be able with a multimeter check if uh, it's working properly or not I'm gonna power it up make sure it's uh, not gonna turn on so it can surprise you I mean the fan under it and I'm gonna turn it on and then we're gonna do some measurements Okay, I plugged it in and it's turned on like it would be in an on position, but it's not working. So, multimeter volt with 200 AC current. Let's go. Let's see, I'm gonna see your bridge rectifier, how it looks. There's a sign for an AC current and there's a plus sign. So we're gonna check if the electricity is coming into it. So from the wall we should be receiving 110 volts and that should be right here with this one and the one that is diagonally, diagonally across from it in the back on this side. So I put my black on this one and I'm gonna put my red on this one and let's see if we have anything and there it is. So the electricity is going into the rectifier 
the bridge rectifier and now I'm gonna go ahead and check if it's coming out on the DC side the positive which is this one and diagonally the opposite in the back okay I've changed my multimeter to DC voltage I'm gonna leave it again with the 200 so I'm gonna put my black on the bottom and the on this side where the positive sign is but diagonally across in the back that's where I'm putting the black one and I'm gonna put my red one on this one and zero nothing and I do have to say that uh, like now I'm checking it for like the I don't know tenth time or maybe more but in the beginning there was a few times when it was reading something and went up to 110 and then it fell back down so it was acting all crazy it wasn't just holding nice current at 110 volts so let's replace this bad boy okay here's a little sketch this is my new one and I did not buy a black and decker one I didn't want to spend 30 dollars so this one's an eight dollar nine dollar dollar one so how you wire it up is just like you see it on this sketch see the e, uh, AC here positive here here you could tell that I drew it the other way AC and positive because on the one that's on the machine it's uh, the symbols this way so don't get scared just because they marked it differently they, that built that means it's just built different but you still follow the setup the same way so the AC the two cables that come from the AC goes one goes here and one goes diagonally on the opposite right here and the ones that go out the DC out the positive side of the DC goes here and the negative side goes here and just in case if you don't know which one's which or so you don't lose it or forget it what you can do is put a tape a piece of tape on each of them and then you can mark it and therefore you won't be able to mess it up so there you go that's how you repair a black and decker lawnmower just because it stopped working most likely it's not the expensive piece the motor it's wrong try these this one or this one the switch for me the switch I took it apart it was nice no corrosion so as we checked with the multimeter you could see this was the bad guy and it's not expensive to check or uh, to replace so try to fix it I would say another thing that I noticed when I fixed it and I turned it back on is that it was sparking over here and here pretty badly and these are the brushes that, uh, that we, you can take off just like these and this one you can take out and I can't stress this enough do not do this while it's plugged in because it will send you to heaven so when you take this out watch out how you take this out because that piece not this one, the one that's coming out of it, it will fall out if you don't hold on to it, this one so this is one of them I took it out and as you can tell this is nice and shiny and pretty looking so just uh, scraped it a little bit and put it back and I'll show you the other one, the other one looks actually horrible it's uh, this one on this side, I took this one apart as well and this might have caused some headache too or if not in the future sure it will because it is looking see uh, it fell out it'll fall, fall out of this little case but it's wired to this thing so you can you're not gonna lose it but uh, look at this one See, it's burnt on this side and on this side it's totally black so what you can do is with a sandpaper 
clean it off and make it smooth again to make sure it can nice nicely connect with uh, this thing because when it's spinning it needs to be touching this part nice and smoothly so make sure you check this part too in case it's not your bridge rectifier or your switch okay uh, I just want to show that after I cleaned it it's that center piece is much nice and shinier I cleaned these two and I do have to say that uh, when I plug it in I believe that it is running much better and the, it has a bigger speed than before I cleaned it so, and it's not sparking over here so violently and so our control is sparking much more in a normal fashion <laughs>